question is, what do Canadian communities have to do to compete effectively in this worldwide competition to be a world-leading intelligent community? There are a number of elements to this. First of all, the goals in becoming an intelligent community are economic, social, and also environmental leadership. So how do you get there? Well, the fact is that no great cities in the world run on gravel roads. Broadband today, compared to the rest of the world, is gravel roads, Canadian broadband. Turns out now we're number 33 in the world. I think we're tied with Hungary and Romania is ahead of us. And Canada used to be number one in broadband and communications in the world. So it's not about technology, but as I say, no great cities run on gravel roads. So you've got to have the infrastructure in order to do these social and economic things. Just on the social side, we have to change the rules so that I could have a medical consultation from my TV in my house. My TV in the future will really be a computer terminal. It'll be just really big like a TV, but it'll have a camera on it. And if my child falls or something happens to me or my wife, and hurts her arm, hurts whatever, I can click on the icon on my computer, my TV terminal, it's a red cross and up pops a nurse. When that happens, we start to talk. What's the problem? Well, I got this problem here, da 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 da. Well, I think we need the doctor to look at it. So the doctor takes a look. So it's remote health care. I'm going to the clinic without leaving home, or I'm not going to the emergency part of the hospital to jam it up. And then we're finished. <clears throat> so just that part alone cuts the cost of a health care call, at least the initial one, from whatever, a thousand odd dollars to a couple of hundred. But you have to change the regulations. First of all, the doctor needs to be able to get paid for a remote thing. So a lot of rules and regulations have to change. But to make it all happen, we have to get the communications infrastructure in. It's all about collaboration in the community, so we need leaders and partners. So the public sector and the private sector and the institutions like universities and others have to all work together and say, okay, we want to be one of the world's leading intelligent communities because we know if we do, we're going to have a very prosperous community in the future. If we're a small town or rural town, our kids won't leave they'll stay. They may go away to university and they'll come back because there'll be all kinds of jobs.